after the making a pistol we are going to start a polishing so before we start a polishing i will just show you this is our a mirror this is a 8 inch mirror so you will find even my hands is visible but the glass is not completely polished okay it's slightly opaque and if you observe the behind this surface is completely shiny so we have to make this surface which we have ground it should be a perfectly transparent as it started we started the glass but now after this we'll get the curvature so before we start keep in mind my mirror is ready my pistol is also ready so while making this pistol when i made this pistol i almost 3 days i kept the mirror and tool along with a hot water every day whenever i visiting to the lab every time i am changing a hot water i just remove the thing put a new fresh hot water and again press it so that is why my pish tool and the mirror if you look at properly my contact is perfectly nice okay my pish tool has taken the perfect shape of my mirror surface okay and after doing this thing whenever my work is over i will put once again in a container along with a slightly warm water so whatever uh, why this water is required the water temperature will remain constant little bit compared to the room temperature okay the room temperature might be a change in a day time and night time so the best thing if you can keep it in a water so they will not stick to each other even our curvature deformation will stop okay so once it will match it will remain as it is okay so that is the one thing so always there is a question how to start the thing okay shall we keep a mirror on top so initially when we started at a grinding we kept a mirror on top then we started but in a polishing stage i will always suggest you you can put a mirror at a bottom tool on top and you have to give the strokes the best stroke you can give that is a long w so initial two rotation of the board just apply a long w why so initially when i give the strokes the edges will grind or the polish more faster so because of this motion the edges will become a completely transparent and slowly the from the edges the slowly the center will polish if exactly opposite thing is done then the center is polished and slowly it is moving to the edges then what will happen the center will go a slightly deeper and initially the last stage and when we are focusing a from the telescope the center focus will be a different and the edges is focusing at a different point so we can get a two different images so we don't we wanted to see the, if the saturn the saturn should appear as a single thing okay one single image we don't have uh, required a multiple images so that is why always i generally preferred to start with a long w stroke and once we do the long w then you can after the one rotation of the board interchange the position when well, then the mirror will come on top tool will be at the bottom then for we'll just go one round of the table with the same thing the mirror on top tool at the bottom once we complete again we'll interchange and we'll continuously do this polishing exercise with ferric oxide okay and while doing this thing the most important tip that is always keep in mind don't put so much water if you can put so much water then what will happen only the pitch tool will just instead of rubbing that will just float on the surface of the mirror it will not polish the mirror so don't put so much water we want a little bit of friction as the same thing it will work as your eraser and it will erase your opaqueness 
and turn this mirror into the perfectly polished thing so we'll start the thing okay so i have made this ferric oxide so while making this ferric oxide what i have done i have taken a 1 liter water in within a 1 liter water i have put almost a two spoon of ferric oxide i shaked it properly mixed it and then after making this mixture with the help of the a uh, very smooth cotton uh, cloth that is like a dhoti or something you can filter that particular water or a ferric oxide then after filtering whatever this material i have just put it in this container that is a oil container so every time whenever you are going to put this drops on a pistol or a mirror always shake it properly so it will instead of settle down it will mix properly once you shake it properly keep in mind how much i have to put this ferric oxide on this particular mirror or tool just put a little bit 1 2 3 4 and 5 drops okay so i have just put the five drops then i am just going to put this mirror on top of this okay now i will start along with a long w and keep in mind in a grinding stage we have put the pressure okay in a grinding stage we required to create a curvature in this stage we have to just polish it make that surface extremely smooth so whatever your hands wet that is sufficient you don't have to add the extra wet for polishing this particular thing okay so with easily i can move so give this long w stroke i will turn this 20 120 20 120 a same thing as we have started in our grinding work so the same thing we can apply and where to find this ferric oxide the most of the time this ferric oxide is generally used by the jewelers that is also known as a jewelers rug so just close to the jewelry shops you will find there are the special a uh, jewelry hardware shops so just visit to them and you will get a jewelers rug that is a ferric oxide that is available in also in a small quantity and even a larger so that is the best uh, abrasive or a polishing agent for our polishing or the mirror polishing okay so we'll continue with a long w for a two table stroke okay complete the table thing okay so we'll continue and whenever you find it becomes a slightly sticky put one or two drops of the ferric oxide and continue okay we'll continue so we have completed completely a long w stroke with a two rotation of the board now the next thing what we can do a simply thing instead of mirror at the bottom now i will turn this particular position the tool will be on a bottom and my mirror will be on a top but now in keep in mind so initially we started with a long w now instead of giving a long w i will move on to the short w and i will continue this complete polishing with a short w stroke and slowly my mirror will become a transparent from edges to center so still how much time i have to work till the my mirror completely get a transparent that time or whatever the time is required maybe a 10 hours maybe a 15 hours you have to work with a particular stroke with a short w okay so after the one rotation of this board interchange the position 
continue with the short w again once at a, now the mirror on the top tool at a bottom the next is tool on the top mirror at a bottom even the next again the mirror will be on the top tool at a bottom so the short w is basically what basically do it maintains your curvature properly and your focal length will be a, a same so we can continue along with this short w stroke and we'll finish our mirror with a polishing once our polishing is done what is the next thing we can do so after the polishing the most important part that is testing of our mirror because whatever the things we have done are right or wrong that we have to test and check whether our mirror is perfectly a uh, parabolic or spherical and how to do this so in basically for the purpose of the testing at a initial level or the beginner level instead of there are the some different things or the testing methods that is a one is a ronchi testing then the knife edge bath interferometer star test so all this considering to be the ronchi test is easier to do at a beginner level so we'll go for the ronchi testing okay in this ronchi testing we can see the interference pattern okay and judging this interference pattern or the reflection from the mirror we can make out whether that mirror is spherical or a parabolic or there is a some distortion between the mirror surface and we have to correct that and correcting this particular thing we call it as a figuring okay the polishing so initially what we done the coarse grinding okay then we have done a fine grinding then smoothing then polishing and the last stage is a figuring so we are coming back to the last stage that is a figuring and keep everything in mind i am sitting inside the lab and doing this work all right so whenever you start a polishing in a grinding stage is a perfectly fine okay a little bit but if you can sit inside the closed room then the even a small dust particle which comes in between the your polishing even that small dust particle also make a scratch if the scratch rises on your mirror again you have to go back to the something that depends on the the scratch if the scratch is a minor then we will just go to the 600 or 800 grit again we will grind the thing again we will match the piece tool and again we will polish so this cycle completely repeat so avoiding this all the cycles or repetition keep in mind maximum you can take a cleanliness a location should be a perfectly nice where you are going to do this work okay it should be a slightly dust free and you can do it properly so continue we'll polish it and we'll just go to the testing level so i will finish this thing and then we'll go for the proceed for the polishing we'll do the ronchi testing okay after the 40 hours of the polishing now the mirror is become a little bit transparent okay so now the most important thing that after the polishing we have to test the mirror for purpose of the testing a mirror we required we can do a different type of the testing one of the best thing as a beginner level we generally think about a ronchi test so that it means the observing interference pattern so for purpose of the interference pattern we required a grating but grating you can just take a print out on a transparency paper okay that comes with between the 50 lines per inches 100 lines per inches 300 lines per inches that is according to the the diameter and your requirement so while taking a print out i have taken this print out of ronchi screen this will work this will not work because the lines number of the lines are more so always prefer to take a print out like this so this is a ronchi screen you can take a print out now the lines are it's almost 
uh, 100 lines per inches okay or still if you wanted to look at uh, properly so now this is a 300 lines per inches so you can easily notice it's a very thin lines on the transparency paper so i have taken this transparency print out then how to make a raunchy grating for purpose of making a raunchy grating i have used a microscope slide okay so you can take two slides and i have sandwiched this particular screen inside the glass and while observing this you require whatever the light you are uh, using it should be a slightly diffuse so i am going to use my mobile and this raunchy grating for taking this or observing this thing so for purpose of diffusing light i can use a uh, this is a tracing paper okay or you can use a butter paper for making a diffuse light so what i have done on the my mobile so you can able to see just before the light i have put this particular transparency paper okay so it the light is slightly diffuse so what i am going to use i have started this mobile so i can put this grating on top of this okay and this is a clip which i am going to use so i will put this clip here so on my screen i can able to focus a particular a uh, uh, reflection of the mirror and then i can observe it properly so you can make this type of the a simple thing that is a homemade thing so before doing this thing for keeping a mirror or aligning a mirror you require a stand so here uh, we have made this type of the stand where you can see that is made on a t and keep in mind generally people put a four screw at a bottom but general i will suggest instead of putting a four screw you can use a three screw and one screw two screws are fixed but one screw you can adjust the plane of the glass so you can adjust so you can whatever the distance okay you are observing and the reflection you can adjust both of them and what is the distance we require it's almost the radius okay the you can measure the exact radius of your mirror and half of the radius that is a focal length so here you can calculate the your focal length in millimeters so that is the one thing so that is a useful for assembly part so what i have done so this stand is made we have placed this three screw at a bottom one perpendicular flat thing on top of this we have placed this two screw along with a wooden clips and we can just easily put a slowly this mirror okay and if you require you can also put another clamp on a top of this mirror okay we are doing a different type of the diameter so the clamp is not done by me so generally that is a regular habit so i have placed this mirror now the next thing a uh, generally the mobile adapters are available so you can use this mobile adapter along with the stand so we have made this another stand where i can place this my mobile so i can adjust i will start the stops okay then i will keep it here i will try to focus the reflection from the mirror and this reflection should be a perfectly sharp so that you are keeping a source on a radius so the image also you will get on a radius so that is the most important so you can adjust the thing okay after adjusting you can put this grating 
on this glass and clip it properly and what you can be able to see you can able to see a lines okay so that is because of the grating and the reflection from the mirror so that is the interference pattern so you can just observe this thing and according to the ronchi pattern you can take a different type of the images so general idea while doing this ronchi pattern you can directly go to the radius okay and observing from the radius you can just move a little bit inside of 4 to 5 mm then take a image again come back to the radius observe properly and just behind the radius you can take 4 or 5 mm so the distance is the same so you can able to see there are the three or four dark and white bands so that is reflected from the mirror if the mirror is defective the line should not be a perfectly straight it is a diffuse when the lines are perfectly straight that means your mirror is perfectly spherical when you are making effect telescope the most important thing your mirror should be working as a spherical even when you make it properly as a spherical mirror even that will work as a parabola because the curvature of parabola sphere ellipse everything matches the line is extremely short in the difference of the curvature so you can able to see in a proper way so basically we are observing now we have placed the mirror and light source and we can able to see the interference pattern okay while observing this interference pattern what we can see the lines are straight that means a spherical mirror and we are when we are increasing a distance between the uh, mirror and the light source so the pattern is slightly changing when we are observing this particular interference pattern how much this interference pattern or the testing method is so much sensitive when i keep my hands in between and it shows me the whatever the heat coming out from the body and the pattern is slightly disturbing okay so after the proper shape that is uh, figuring so you can do the figuring you can check out test the mirror and according to the pattern you can make the correction and after making a correction the next thing that is a coating so you can just notice this thing the behind glass is also transparent and whatever the surface we have done even that is a perfectly done as a spherical thing because our focal ratio is a f f so it is completely spherical so that will work a properly as a parabolic mirror also so the next thing you can go for the coating so in the purpose of the coating you can do a two different type of the coating one is a generally you can do a silver coating okay silver coating can be done in any chemistry lab all right but the silver coating will not go for a longer time it will oxidize it will become a black so the best thing you can go for the aluminum coating aluminum coating is basically done in a vacuum chamber so we can able to see how this vacuum chamber and aluminum coating is done so after this the mirror is ready for assembly of the telescope so the next thing we can go and we can assemble everything inside the tube and you are ready to observe the sky